Hey guys and welcome back to another Hashtag United video. Today, as you can tell, I'm at the Emirates again. We've all come back to the Emirates and today we are playing Arsenal Diversity 11. And today is a big game. As always, every single Hashtag game is a big game. But today we need to get these three points as they are very essential into the progress within Division 1. And yet again, we are so privileged to be able to play on this pitch and be looked after by the Arsenal staff. I think the guys are getting briefed inside in their uh, press conference area where they're going to be um, sort of spoken to about what they can and can't do in the day, security, health and safety, etc. Which is all essential on um, days at a stadium. But the pitch again, I, I can only assume this wouldn't have been watered since the um, end of season sort of game. And the pitch is still looking incredibly well. I'm not too sure how much of it you can see, but that is nice. We've got all the uh, production lads here setting up, as per usual, legends. But yeah, incredible guys. But how must it feel to be a professional player and to walk out of, of those near enough every weekend in front of thousands and thousands of tens of thousands of people absolutely ridiculous i don't know if i'd have it in me to have the bottle to be able to play consistently every week but unfortunately a lot of players get quite a lot of st uh, stick most weeks which is a shame but you have to think about how much pressure is on them to be able to produce and be able to play well every week it's very difficult but from what i can see this week there's not as much sort of stewards or security but fingers crossed i might be able to show you a little bit more behind the scenes and what's here at the Emirates. Let's go. As you can see, unfortunately, the uh, home dressing room isn't available to check out. And through here is the away changing rooms where we were last time. Stevie's got, got it all set up. Look at this, quality stuff. Tailor-made Arsenal waters. Welcome to Emirates Stadium. And of course, the most important person, LP. Right, as I said earlier, I think all the guys are getting briefed in there, so I'm gonna go check it out quickly. Scotty P. Congratulations, mate. How are you feeling? Feeling just can't wait to get started. <laughs> I'm happy to see you. This is different from you wearing the old um, Hashtag Academy sort of outfit. This is the Hashtag United training wear. What do you think of this uh, facility here? Well, Arsenal, not bad. Not a bad place to be. Yeah, not bad. Had worse days. Yeah. I think DB is trying to reenact his uh, his miss in the last game here. Let's kind of have a word about that. Looking for Dan Brown, it's bouncing. Ryan Adams gets it, and Dan Brown's ran past him. Dan Brown through on goal. Surely, chance for an equaliser. Oh no, Dan Brown drags it wide. What a chance that was! <sighs> right, let's have a little word about that miss, DB. It's just here and running through. It's pretty much this line here. I've just panicked. I've tried to drag it across. Drag it across the left. So I've come in. I'm about here, this guy just behind me. I've got, my, I've got to about here. I've hit it probably a little bit too early. Yeah. I've just dragged it across. I think hindsight, keeper stayed where he was. If yeah, was I think he was pretty planted, wasn't he? Yeah, committed him. When I get to about here, if he commits to go round him, forward and smash it in. So, I mean, I've missed We're not, we're not going to do that again today. No, I've missed a chance that day, but, you know, today, exercise that demon, I think. You need to do me proud today. I'm going to do you proud need to get today. I, mean, I was so upset when I was sitting there and I saw it happen. Yeah. And right. I've, I, I probably would have put a lot of, probably all my money on you to finish that, mate, but you didn't. So I know, I know. Fingers it's crossed. Good. Today. Yeah, I need, to, I need to get rid of that ghost. I need to. Today's the day. Today's the day, mate. Oh, and we've got a Theo. Just tagging all around. Bloody hell. How are you feeling? <laughs> good. Exhausted. Hopefully get the win today. They're going to be hard, though. They're going to be I very think, I good. Think, I, I said that earlier. I think it's going to be quite hard. They're going to be very um, good. I think that we can't challenge and hopefully come away with three points today. Because lately I've been fat. The five side game that I watched, the BT Sport one, by the way, incredible video. You guys looked on fire. Smashed it. Stevie G. World class. Honestly, one of the, he's the best player I've ever played with or against. Well, wow. Unbelievable. If we had him on our team, they imagine. It would be unbeatable. But, when we've got Jack Harrison, who needs Steven Gerrard? We've got Jackie H. I'm now sitting in the stands because I just want to see what it feels like to have a spot at the uh, Emirates Stadium, and I have to admit, I think they've done this quite well, to be honest. There's like a nice little, I mean, with the Olympic Stadium, I have to admit, I do feel quite far back, 
And with this, this is incredible. It feels like everyone in this stadium has a good view, no matter where you are. And that's very hard to achieve within a Premier League stadium, or any stadium in fact, with the capacity. If you're gonna try and hit, hit the most highest capacities you, you can hit, it can get very difficult for people to have quite good visibility. And here, I have to admit, they've done it well here. They really have. Imagine you're scoring an absolute banger and then just being like, yes! You got all these tens of thousands of people screaming, shouting, celebrating. What a feeling that would be. Right, just coming to the picture, Scotty P. How you feeling, Scotty P? Uh, you you got your hashtag shirt on now as well? Yeah. Look at that. I think he's gonna bag his first goal. Go on. All right, no, crossbar. Crossbar. Yeah, I'm gonna call you out crossbar. Go on. <gasps> I just scored. Okay. Just score. Right, Scotty P can get the goals. But I called the crossbar. Can I get the Oh, uh, he has as well. <laughs> Got it. That's what I do. Talk to me. I think, I think in me, I saw you not do it and I felt like I had to do it. And I've done it. Scotty P, you ready? Yeah, always ready. Oh, that's the best response, I like that. I was starting on the bench, but hopefully I'll come on, make an impact and see how the game goes, really. I'm sure you will, I believe in you. Yeah. Right, boys and girls, Theo here. Some big tackles flying in. It's a exciting game. Oh my god, you have not just put a spider on it, Charlie. Why have you done? Get it off, get it off, get it off. Oh, he scared the off me, bro. Gonna have to bleep that. Yeah. Bleep that. Uh, right, we're gonna cut to now. Cinematics.
And that's game over. Incredible game. I think I say this most games. I come up to the camera and I say, right, it's been an incredible game. Good performances from both teams. But I have to admit, yeah, again, it was. But you have to find out the result on the main channel, which I'm sure you guys all probably will do anyway. But yeah, again, very privileged and very honoured to be able to spend my day here at the Emirates. And thank you to the Arsenal staff that have all looked after us. And thank you for the uh, opposition for giving us a good game. But this is where I say bye. Thank you very much for uh, tuning in and watching. It won't be Spencer signing off this time, it'll be me. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and also, don't forget the hashtag. Peace.